Chloe, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm back with a huge autumn winter Primark try on haul. If you're new to my channel, yes, I do these hauls every single month. I absolutely love filming them. I'm not gonna lie, I've kind of slacked on these hauls this month and I think it's been about five weeks since I uploaded one. Kill me, I know. We've got all the autumn winter vibes. I mean, we have for like the last two Primark hauls had autumn winter vibes, but it's extra vibey today. Oh, you just shut up. You're so gross. I'm so annoyed. If you're interested in seeing what is in Primark at the moment, what I've picked up over the last two or three weeks, then please keep watching. So I'm gonna start off with something that if you follow me on Instagram, I will leave a link down below. We're like a minute in and we've already got a plug in, yes. If you do follow me on Instagram, you will have probably seen this coat already. How? Stunning. Now I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room. I've already got a foundation stain on it. Gorgeous blue puffer coat. Oh my god, when I saw this, I actually nearly died. Um, I tried it on in the shop and I was just in love instantly. Because I've worn this, I've taken the price off. However, I think it was £25, which obviously in Primark, £25 is more on the higher end of money. But for this coat, it is so worth it. I think the colour is beautiful. It's really, really warm. It's kind of like a cropped puffer jacket and I just love it. I'll show you the back. Obviously, I'm going to insert try on clips. It's going to be much easier for you to see. I'm usually a size 8, like, top and bottom, and I actually picked this up in a 14, and it just fits so nicely, so it kind of gives you a little bit more of that oversized feel, which I personally love with these kind of coats. in my last Primark haul, I bought a black beanie, and I was saying that hats don't usually suit me, and they're not really my kind of vibe. Then this happened. Primark's hat selection at the moment is actually insane. So we've got this one pom-pom uh, grey one. This was £2. Everyone's going to have a grey beanie in their life, am I right? I then got this gorgeous pink one, which actually goes so well with my jumper, which was from Primark last year. Um, and it's got two little pom-poms on, and this was £3. And again, just how adorable is this? And then, of course, we've got a blue one. Again, it's got a singular pom-pom, and this was £2. And this just kind of goes really nicely with that coat, so... Killing it with the beanies, Primark. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. I feel like I haven't got this on properly, but I love it. Ah, it's so adorable. Something that I don't usually wear or buy very often is cardigans. Um, I just, I don't know why. I just feel like I haven't really properly worn a cardigan since I was in primary school. You know, when you have to wear your little primary school, whatever. I saw this and I was like, oh my freaking God, that is a bit of me. That is a bit of autumn winter 18. <laughs> Gorgeous. It's almost like a coppery rust burnt orange. Does it say which color before we list the whole friggin' rainbow? Burnt orange. I got it right. Um, so it's this burnt orange cardigan. It's that really soft kind of like fuzzy material, but it's perfect because it doesn't like shed onto your other clothes, which is brilliant. And it's gorgeous. This um, is kind of like an oversized fit, but it's not a long cardigan. It kind of comes to just below your waist, which I personally really like. And I got this in a medium size again, so it was a little bit more oversized and less restrictive because I don't really like tight fitting cardigans. And this one was £13, which I think is pretty reasonable. It is so soft. And I think this kind of thing looks really nice when you've got like black ripped jeans and just like a plain black or grey top on, like t-shirt, because it just kind of adds a little bit of colour to the outfit. So loving this one. Then I must really be vibing with cardigans at the moment because I got this black, uh, again, it's... Not the same material, but it's that really fluffy, fuzzy kind of material. I got this one in a medium again, and this was also £13. And this is a little bit shorter. It's a little bit more cropped. And again, this is slightly oversized. I just feel like this really adds to an outfit. I think if you've got like maybe a white or like cream top on, this would look really, really cute with it. A pair of boots, ripped jeans, living. What kind of blue is this? Is this like a... um? electric blue or something this is just freaking vibes okay i'm obsessed so this jumper is in an extra small which is a six to eight and this was 13 pounds as well so it's kind of got that high kind of roll neck you can put down um which i will be folding down because high necks do not suit me at all when you've got like a little moon emoji face you want as much neck out as possible <laughs> this is kind of like a really nice oversized jumper again i would wear it with can you even see the rips? Okay, just hi everyone, see my slippers. 
black ripped jeans that was so pointless that was really pointless probably with black ripped jeans and boots i think this will look so cute i'm obsessed with the color i don't actually have anything in my wardrobe that is this kind of color so it definitely stands out like that itchy or scratchy knitted kind of material it's just like really soft and i feel like this is going to be a warm one so loving it oh I then have this little guy, so this is a grey, white and burnt orange checkered shirt which I love. I picked this up in a 14 because I wanted it to be oversized and I kind of bought it with having it as a t-shirt dress or a shirt dress or a t-shirt dress um, in mind. It does work but it is very very short. Um, so I'd probably put a pair of cycling shorts underneath but to the point where you could only see the very bottoms of them so people can see that you do have shorts on but it's not a full leg of shorts does that make sense i don't know um basically just where you can see the very bottom of the shorts and yeah i think this is really cute again i feel like this is really nice for both trainers and boots i love the color like you just couldn't get any more autumn if you try and i can't remember how much this one was i'm so sorry it's because i have already worn it i think it was around the 10 pound mark it could have been a little bit less or a little bit more Kind of giving me the nativity school primary school christmas play dress up as a sheep vibes but we're it's okay we're here for it um so again i got another cardigan and literally what is wrong with me i just feel like cardigans are so nice to put on top of very plain basic outfits and then they make them look a little bit more than what they actually are so yeah this is like a cream colored cardigan mm -hmm. on to an all black outfit and you've then instantly added like a little bit of brightness I just feel like it makes plain outfits look more interesting. Basically, that's why I bought loads of cardigans. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Mr. Primark came through with a pair of ripped skinny jeans. I actually really like Primark jeans. I've just cut myself on the tag. Love that. So I got these in an eight, as you can see, and they have just got little rips. They're not heavily ripped. Um, I do actually really like severely ripped jeans. You know, the ones where you're a family function and Joan from down the road, who's not even supposed to be there, wants to ask you, oh, did you fall over? Did you know there's a rip in your trouser? Yes. Yes, I did. Um, yeah, I really like Primark jeans. I feel like they are very true to size, actually. That's one thing in Primark that are pretty true to size. Yeah, they've just got little bits of, like, distressed situations going on. £13. I feel like everything's £13 at the moment, but for a pair of jeans, that's decent when you think most of us spend probably £35 to £40 on a pair of jeans from a certain other shop. Now onto my favourite part, which is kind of like homer and accessories. I have these bad boys. I found a pair of gloves, just plain black with grey tips that work with social media, that work with social media, that work with like your phone. So they're kind of good for what are they called to stop it they're basically a pound and they are the gloves that work well with touch screens so like on your phone and stuff which is perfect because we're in 2018 ain't nobody got time to be wearing gloves that do not cooperate with touch screens am i right all of you animal print lovers like me i'm loving a bit of leopard print i'm loving a bit of cheetah here and there um i found this gorgeous belt how pretty is this? So it's just got, I really love the actual buckle on it. Three pounds, that is so good for a belt. And I just thought this is really cute, obviously, to put around jeans when you've got like a jumper dress or something, tie it around the waist, living for this print. It's November, girls and boys. It's never too early for Christmas stuff. This is an accessory set. It was three pounds and it's basically got loads of Christmas wrapping tools in here. So you've got um, those little sticky, oh my God, I'm, I give up. I'd be the worst elf ever. It's got these sticky things that you uh, stick onto presents, you know the ones. Okay. And it's got different coloured ribbons, so you've got a rose gold one and a kind of shiny black one which is really cute. You've got some silver glittery Christmas tree tags, 
You've got a whole bunch of like gold sticky letters. You can personalize people's presents, put their names on there. I think that's really cute. And different kind of ribbons. So you've got a black and white striped ribbon and a gold one. So I think all of this for three pounds is so decent. Then of course, is it a trip to Primark unless you've got socks? I got my luxury fluffy socks for two pound fifty. Two pairs in here and they are the size four to eight. And they're just this really pretty pinky burgundy color and gray ones. You know, there's not really anything else I can say. They're comfy, AF, and they're socks. I then found these. These are two pairs of super soft boot socks for £2.50. And they're kind of in this grey, like solid grey, and then a marbly kind of grey. I thought these were a really good idea, because obviously autumn, winter is boot season, and I have a lot of boots. And sometimes you need a kind of thicker pair of socks. Um, compared to like little trainer socks and stuff. So yeah, these Have will be perfect for something accessory set. This one is kind of, you know, the cardboard brown paper packaging. I really like that kind of vibe. So you've got the kind of plain beige wrapping here. You've got a nice green one. You've got some little felt holly to stick on. Dead. And again, more ribbons and tags. Whole set was three pounds. Can't wait to use this one. Then I kind of have an obsession with picking up mugs in Primark. I got this one which says the struggle is real and it's just got kind of like paint splattered, paint splatter, multicolor print on it. I thought this was really cute. This was only two pounds and it's a pretty big mug. And I just love stuff like this. I think it's so cute. I feel like this needs to be my mug at work now because the struggle is real, you know? Very cute. And is it a Chloe haul unless I've got a candle? This is the Winter Wonderland scented candle which burns up to 25 hours. How cute is this packaging? It's like a mini little Christmas present with this little cute thing on top. I don't know how we're going to see because the ring light, but the packaging is so cute as well. It's kind of got this silver spotty kind of effect on there. It smells like fresh cookies baking but it's not too sweet. It's kind of like a very fresh Christmas scent if that makes sense. Then of course we don't just stick to one candle, we have to pick up another two. So I've got the Alpine Forest uh, mini scented candle, this is a pound, and then I've got the Berry Spiced candle which was also a pound. How cute are these little jars? I'm living. It actually smells like a forest, I've never been to an Alpine Forest but it smells like an Alpine Forest, you know? This is so good. Nah, these are actually too nice. The last Christmas item of the haul so i got these cute little candles there's a three pack and it's got two gingerbread men and a little gingerbread house how can you hate on this little guy he's so cute i won't probably won't even burn him because i don't want to burn mr gingerbread man you know uh so these were two pound fifty and again they're just kind of kind of tacky but kind of cute essential christmas decorations then the last few bits we have are jewelry so i picked up this star sign necklace this is the taurus star sign because i'm taurus uh, this was £2 and I love it. It's just that kind of like rose goldy colour with my little stars. I have another mini horoscope charm necklace. Again, £2, Taurus, obviously. I got one a few months ago and obviously because they're cheap, they discolour after about a month. Um, so I just thought I'd pick up another one. It's just like a really dainty necklace to wear with you know, your outfit. So that is everything in my Primark haul for the month of November. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're new here because I'd love to have you here. Just a quick mention, I'm gonna be hosting my Christmas giveaway so freaking soon. So I suggest you maybe turn on the notification bell. There's a bunch of makeup, skincare, beauty products, a few bits from Primark that I'm gonna throw in. So yeah, make sure you don't miss that one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.